Hello, this is me, JJ Jane Sad, and I thought I'd do a quick video about my Canon EOS 1D Mark III. Needs is battery charging. Well, what happens is these batteries, if you leave them in the camera for more than about a month, they drain right down even when you're not using it. So, this is the camera I did a um, video on a few months back. Put my stuff out of the way. Got a bunch of camp uh, batteries here. Got three of them. One's an aftermarket. Sort of a generic one. Where's the other one? And these two are this this one in the camera there, and this one is a Canon branded one. And they need charging, really topping up once a month, once every six weeks. If you're not going to use it, because if they run right down, it can damage them. It causes them to not not charge up properly. So here's the charger I got with it. It's quite big. And this does two batteries at the same time, and there's these weird flashing lights that come on. And you can discharge them once a year, and then it takes like a day, and then it charges them back up. It sort of clears the memory on it or something, I don't know, something to do with that. But um, they do need a bit of a charger. Let's put this one on. Put it on. Come on. Now, what's the battery? It says on top there, you can see the. About half I got information, and it will tell me the battery is of half. This one I changed out a couple of days ago because I took the other one out. They've been in there about three weeks or so. Flat. So what I'm do is I'll take the thick out. This is how you change a battery in. This is all part. Canonius 1D Mark III. Mark 1 had massive batteries and the Mark the Mark 2 had similar batteries to this, I can't remember. There's earlier versions that are bigger. I think all the later ones have the same batteries as this. Turn that little thing there, and you pull it out, and it comes out like this. There's a big hole at the side there. And it's the other battery, this is the one that's not quite so flat. So the other one is going to take this battery. Difficult to see how charged up they are, but right, so there's the one I just took out. This is the other one. I've let these go down once before and it charged up and it got very hot. But then I charged it about a month ago and it was okay again, so I get a bit worried about the batteries. So there's the sensor cleaning thing. Information. Yeah, this one's about half as well. This one's had a bit of use, this one has, so I'll turn it off. And then I'll check this one just to see how charged up they are, but... Let me take the... Turn that, that's the lock, it's built into the battery. These have a different form factor compared to the mid-range models. As far as I know, the modern batteries for the later models are the same difference I think for these so I don't know. could be wrong but right, put it back in there just test it again they're about half flat I think these are yeah it's gonna be about half on these so what I'll do is take that out turn it off About. So what I'm going to do is take that one out, take the other one out, and put it on the floor. This way around, isn't it? Just turn the little thing and pull it out, just like that. And what we do here is there's the thing. So you put your, it's actually plugged in. It's a it's a double charger, so you just pull it in like that, and a little light comes on. There it is. And then we get the other one. Okay. There it is. And these lights come on. Turn the light off. This one's not not flashing. Why is this one not flashing? Oh, this one, oh, just one, then the other, that's it. That's not. 
it does this one, then it does that one. I've not actually read anywhere that you shouldn't charge aftermarkets with the proper ones because these are expensive and these are cheaper. But this one holds its charge better than this one, or these some of these so I don't know. But this one, I'll leave this one maybe. They need like 25 minutes or half an hour. If you want to do a full charge, it's about two hours. But they don't really need a full charge, so I don't want to overcharge them. It might damage them over time. So I'm just trying to top them up, so keeping them kind of fresh. Because if you let them go right flat, leaving the battery in the camera, it does pull some power. This is it in the manual. It does pull charge. I don't know why it's like, but I do know that the EOS, uh, the Mark One model, um, has a longer battery that goes all the way to the end, and those are different form factors, so they won't fit on these. But then these later ones, then bit bit more reasonable. I don't know what they call these batteries. The e LP E4, is it? Camera's not focusing. Yeah, these ones. So that's the charger there. And there is a um, dummy battery. What it is, that is, you can plug it into the mains. And I've got the adapter, I've never used it. And you can do, if you wanted to do like star trails or something, and you had a main supply, you could plug that into the thing. So I've got the. This is the power supply. This is a normal, this is a UK voltage one, I think it's a European. What that voltage is 100 to 2 feet. Yeah, this is a UK and a European voltage, and you can plug it into the normal thing with a figure of eight flex or, or cable, <clears throat> and that goes into there. I've never used it, but if you wanted to run it off of like you know, a six hour shutter thing, battery wouldn't last that long. So, that apparently goes into that. I've never, never used it, so I don't. Work, I suppose it probably would, and I've never used it, but um, so that's pretty much everything. And the only thing I don't have is a remote trigger. This has got a manual Olympus lens on it with a converter. Like, this is like 10 years old, this camera, but you can't do anything without batteries. So that's the basic charging thing with these because you've got to kind of manage the batteries. Because I don't use it every day, and if you use it all the time. Then you just you discharge them and then you, you charge them up. If they sit in a camera for ages, they do go flat and it can damage them. So just topping them up. And I thought I'd do a little video talking about the very interesting battery aspect of a Canon EOS One digital camera.